we're starting to see more and more of. Uh, but I want to show this as I ask the question as well. When you set up your events, you guys set up an event, and this was the first time I saw somebody really do that. Can you talk about, you know, why you do what you do? Um, and, and what made you think of this? I love it, right? Because it, it's, it's a phenomenal, I believe in efficiency, but you were the first organization to really set this up, you know, and I think you started with, right, this one right here. And this was, you know, one of my favorites and I absolutely love this. And I'll tell you, we show a lot of people this specific one now. Why? Why and how'd you come up with that? So I should preface, I come from the nonprofit event world. And so I have spent 20 years planning events and organizing logistics for the events. And so when it came to planning these virtual job fairs, I wanted to make it as accessible as possible. We have a very mixed community here that is either really tech savvy or not tech savvy at all. And so we wanted to provide the, um, you know, you usability that um, would help people find what they are looking for with a couple of clicks. And so with those particular um, settings like search by experience has been something that we've added by request to our employers. Um, they want they want to be able to feature jobs that are at the uh, director level, the entry level and find those positions that um, they qualify for. Now, when you go in those, you do see the booth just like you would and you know they still have to look through the jobs and things like that. But um, it gives them an idea and a starting point to, to go from there. Um, and, and we do, um, you know, those categories, all employer booths are one thing, but we also have a lot of resource teams here that have a, you know, funding that can be shared. And so we invite um, Department of Rehabilitation, we invite um, our other local area partners, there's only three here, but um, we'll, we'll have about six in our August event that cover the whole region and so we wanted to give them a feature spot too that they can meet with people that um, can help and those those are anything from we, we help veterans <laughs> we have a veteran rep we have dor we have um you know the different workforce boards sacramento works yolo works those all of those we partner together on these big events and so it just made sense for our people to be able to find um, and then of course in the need help that's just me i just want to be able and uh you know for people to find me and ask questions of how, if they get stuck on something in the platform so i'm in that booth answering questions whatever comes my way and you know reaching out to the team you know there there's so many things with the event setup that allows us to um have access to your team steve and and ask those questions if we don't know something i can just reach out and and i will say my favorite new thing that you know perhaps has been there a while but i just started using is the announcement feature that allows me to remind job seekers which booths to go into and that they can search jobs by categories whether it's location um we are i should also say we are a very widespread um county so even <laughs> even driving from one side of one county to the opposite side of that county you're talking in two, two and a half hours. So to search by location became key for those specific job seekers that might be looking in Tahoe. But, you know, we, we also want to serve the people who are living in Sacramento and that's that's a drive. So we want to make sure that we are allowing them to the opportunity to find the job that's close to them. So it's 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 making that community job there still with that, you know, when you go to the in-person ones, there's this community feel and you're right in their backyard. We don't really have that with virtual, but we can make that. And so that's where it kind of stemmed from. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> no, I, I, I love that. And, you know, and, I, and I've said a lot. So just so everybody knows, I, I, Nick, you guys do a great job too, right? So they did the amount I want to say, right? You can, as you can see, it's very customizable and they did it by location as well. Um, so you guys are doing a great job as well, but that was the first one. So, so, you know, I, I always believe efficiency. So if that candidate wants to come in and they want to look by industry, they can look by industry or location or, 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 you know, uh, job title, right? We haven't seen that before. I've seen the industry the locations and the title. And the good thing is, is that company booth can be in all of them, right? They can be in the entry level and then in uh, Tahoe. So it makes it efficient. And this is what I always say. You want the right recruiter to meet with the right candidate. And how easy can you make that? 
you know, when there's a lot of them, you know, I was, uh, I was at an event uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was actually at the, the workforce development conference out in Vegas. And we were talking to some people and I mentioned the Massachusetts event. And I said, I had 1700 companies. And the first thing somebody said is I was way too big. It's, it's not a good event. And I said, well, let's think about this, right? If I tell you 1700, your instant thought was way too big. But if I say, if I'm searching for a sales job in Fort Lauderdale, and I only see those 20 companies, am I going to search those 20 companies? I'm going to look at all those companies because you made it efficient. And that's how you know, and, and I think there might be some people on here from, uh, from, from up in the Massachusetts, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to set another record. They're trying to do a job fair with six States around with like 5,000 companies in a job fair, but it all has to come to set up. Right. And I think a job fair, right. Not just the job fair or, or a single employer hiring event that's national. It's the setup of the event. And that's what I love about, you know, Sarah and Nick and, you know, what you guys are doing with that because you're making it efficient uh, for your organization and your attendees.